and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these three outfits in GTA Online. As you can see, this is for male characters. This also works on both console and PC. There's some more information down in the pinned comment, but for now we're just going to get onto the video. Okay, so the first thing to note is that doing this glitch will delete all of your current player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please make sure you're wearing your favourite outfit. Of course you can transfer multiple outfits at the same time, and I've made many transfer outfits that you can do alongside these. We're going to begin on the male character, press start, go to online and go down to swap character. As expected, this is then going to load up the character selection screen. So in order for this glitch to work, your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it's in the second one, this isn't going to work for you. We're now going to go over to slot 2 and we're going to create a new character, or if you have an existing female character, you can use that one too. Just keep in mind that we will be deleting it later on. If you're level 120 or above, I recommend copying your main character's rank over to this new character so that you don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store. And no, this does not affect your main character's rank. At this point, all we need to do is make sure that the character is a female, then we're going to save and continue, enter a name and take a photo. You'll then have to watch a cutscene and you'll load down into a GTA Online session. If you disconnect at any point after creating the female character, all the way up until you're back on the male character later on, then you will need to switch back to the male character and then switch back to the female before you can continue. You can then simply just continue where you left off, but if you don't do that, then the glitch won't work. Again, you only have to do that if you disconnect or get an error. With that out of the way, we're now on the female character and the first thing we want to do is open up the map and we're going to check and see if the clothing stores have spawned in. If they haven't, like they didn't for me, then all you need to do is go and find a new session. If they did, then that is fine, just simply go and head over to one. Now that we're in the clothing store, we're going to go over to the accessory section and go into the earrings category. From here we're going to purchase the B and W deco earrings. Now please don't forget these as they will allow the pouches to transfer later on, so if you don't buy these, you don't get any pouches. Next we're going to back out of there and instead go into the gloves category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom and scroll up until we get to the blue surgical gloves. If you're new to this and you're not too sure what's going on, don't worry, just make sure that you buy exactly what I'm buying and you'll be fine. We can now back out of accessories and head over to the pants section. From here we're going to go into the utility pants category and purchase the beige camo knee pad cargos. In tops, we're going to go into the sweaters category, go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the green combat sweater. We're then going to back out of there and head over to the shoe section. Now we're going to go into the boots category and purchase the black flight boots. Just before we save this, we're going to back out of there and open up the interaction menu. Now go into inventory and body armour and go down to show armour. From here we're going to scroll through until we get to the black standard armour. However, if you would prefer something like the grey vest for the outfit, then you can just equip that one instead. As I want the black one, I'm going to be using the standard one. We're now going to close the interaction menu and head over to the top section. Now we're going to save the outfit, but make sure that you leave slot 1 empty, as we need that later on. Instead, we're going to save this into slot 2, and we're going to call this one 01 vest, which means outfit 1 vest. Since outfit 2 also uses this, we're going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 5, and we're going to call this one 02 vest, which is outfit 2 vest. Again, if you're new to this and a bit confused, just make sure that you save them in the same order that I'm doing. Alright, so we're now ready to move on, and to do that, we're going to press back and go into the sports jackets category. Head down to the bottom of the list, and we're going to scroll up to purchase the sea green puffer jacket. With that equipped, we're then going to press back and go down into the gun running t-shirts category. Please pay extra attention to this next part as there are many t-shirts in this category that have a similar name to each other. We're going to purchase the blue digital rolled tee, which is number 22 on the list. Please make sure it's this exact t-shirt as many people seem to buy the wrong one. Okay, so to continue, we're going to back out of the top section and once again equip the body armour like we did with the other outfit. So again, just open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armour, go down to show armour and equip the standard armour. Now that we have that on, we're going to go back into the top section and save this outfit. For this one, we're going to save it into outfit slot 3, and we're going to call this one 01 Gun, which is outfit 1 Gun. Outfit 2 also uses this, so we're going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 6, and we're going to call this one 02 Gun. If done correctly, there should still be an empty slot between 01 and 02. Okay, so we're now going to press back, and we're going to go down to the work jackets category. From here we're going to be purchasing the Peach Camo Field. The jacket is currently open for me, but I need to go ahead and set that to closed. If yours is closed already though, then that is fine. To close it, simply just set jacket to closed in the bottom of the style section of the interaction menu. So now that that is out of the way, we're going to go back into the top section and go back into gun running t-shirts. From here we're going to purchase the brown digital roll tee, which is just one up from the blue one. This brown t-shirt is going to give us the charcoal plate carrier on the mail later on. Here is a list of which female t-shirt turns into which male plate carrier if you want to pick a different colour instead. If you'd prefer a black plate carrier instead, then just go ahead and keep the blue digital roll tee that we already had. 
whichever one you decide to go for. We're then going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 8, and we're going to call this one 03 Char Vest. Just in case you haven't caught on, that means outfit 3 Charcoal Vest. Okay, so the next one is quite simple, so we're going to press back and go into the tucked polo shirts category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the San Andreas tucked polo. With that equipped, we're then going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 4, and we're going to call this one 02 Top. I apologise if the order that I'm saving these in is a bit confusing, but this is just the most convenient way for me to do it, and I recommend that you do it too. Again, if you're new, I hope this is making some sort of sense, but if not, just go ahead and follow exactly what I'm doing, as I've said before. To move on, we're going to go into the outfit section and go into the highest coveralls category. From here we're going to purchase the outfit called the Quarantine, which is the blue one at the bottom of the list. Next we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories, and we're going to remove the mask as we need the hood to be down. We can then close the interaction menu and head back over to the accessory section. From here we're going to go back into earrings and we're going to re-equip the B&W Deco earrings. Like I said before, please do not forget these, otherwise your pouches will not transfer later on. Now we're going to back out of accessories and head over to the shoe section. Now going to boots, I'm going to equip the black flight boots like we did before. At this point, we're then going to go and save this into outfit slot 7, and we're going to call this one 03 Top. So those are all of the female transfer outfits that we need to make in order to make the outfits on the male character. We still have a bunch of empty outfit slots, so if you want to, you can go ahead and make some of my other transfer outfits and just keep doing them in order like I have done here. As I mentioned at the start, I've made a bunch of transfer outfits on this channel, so you can go ahead and look for my videos if you want to. Of course, you don't need to make other outfits if you don't want to. Either way, just make sure that you leave outfit slot 1 empty. So now that we are done with the female outfits, we need to initiate a force save. To do that, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style. Now just go ahead and equip any of the outfits that you've saved, it doesn't matter which one it is, and then close the interaction menu. A little orange circle should then pop up in the bottom right of the screen indicating that the game is saving. If it doesn't show up, then that means your game has recently saved, so just wait a minute and then switch outfits again. Okay, so to move on, we're going to press the start button, go to online, and we're going to start up the creator. As you'd expect, this is then going to start up the creator a few seconds later and bring up the creator menu. Once it shows, we're going to go to create a race and select tutorial. Then just go ahead and press yes once you get this alert. You'll then be brought to a screen similar to this one, and don't worry if it's not in the same location, it doesn't have to be. So we're now going to press the start button if you're using a controller, or the P key if you're using a keyboard. Then let's go over to the online tab and we're going to select choose character. Just like it did the first time, this is then going to load up the character selection screen. This next part is very important, so please make sure you are listening to avoid anything bad happening. So now we're going to go over to the female character in slot 2, and we're going to delete it. Please do not delete your main male character by accident. Once the female character has been deleted and the character selection screen has loaded up again, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to look at the bottom right of the screen and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto V. Doing this is then going to take you down into story mode. After a brief cinematic, we're then going to go ahead and press the start button. We're then going to go over to the online tab, press play GTA Online and press go. This will then take us into a free mode online session. We're then going to head over to a clothing store and start browsing the outfit section. At this point we're then going to go into outfits saved and as you can see, the outfits that we made on the female character have transferred over to the male character. Of course if you made more outfits then they will show up too. Before we go any further, we're going to make sure that we save the outfit that we're currently wearing, which is your favourite outfit that you wanted to keep from the beginning of the video, into an empty outfit slot. I recommend saving it in one that is out of the way, just so that it's not in the way. We're now finally ready to start putting the outfits together on the mail. We're going to start with outfit 1, which is the red checkered shirt one. So to begin, we're going to go into the Kayo Perico Heist category, go into Grassland Armour and purchase the Coordinator. If you prefer, then you can use the other outfits with different pouches, but you can't use ones from the Diamond Casino Heist that have the black pouches on this outfit. Anyway, we're now going to go over to the pants section, and we need to pick whichever pants we want on the outfit. Please keep in mind that with outfit 1 and 2, you will not be able to change the pants later on, so make sure that your pants decision is on point. For this outfit, I decided to go for the faded blue fitted, but you can pick whichever ones you want. You don't need to buy anything else for the outfit for now, but what we do need to do is open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories, and we're going to remove the hat from the outfit. Once that's been removed, we're then going to close the interaction menu and head over to the outfit section. From here we're going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 1, and we're going to call this one temp, which means temporary. After the outfit has been saved, we're then going to press back and go into the heist coveralls category. From here we're going to purchase any of the four outfits from the bottom of the list that have the chemical mask, it doesn't matter which one it is. When you have one of those on, we're then going to leave the clothing store and head down to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. Okay, so we're now going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle, and we're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as we get near it, or E on the keyboard. If on a controller, remember it's tap to sprint, not hold. 
If done correctly, you'll just stand there with no mask instead of looking into the telescope. We're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and equip the outfit called temp. With the outfit equipped, we're then going to close the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and the chemical mask will then appear onto this outfit. That is all we need to do here, so we're going to go over to the nearest ammunition. Once we arrive, we're going to start browsing the outfit section and we're going to make sure that we resave this into outfit slot 1, which again is called temp. I recommend that you now go ahead and completely close GTA and restart it to avoid problems with this next part. For some reason, restarting GTA seems to fix it. We now need to go ahead and switch to a different outfit. I'm going to switch to my favourite outfit, or you can go into the outfit section and purchase a random one, it doesn't really matter. Either way, we're then going to go and switch back to the outfit called Temp. If the chemical mask doesn't show up the first time, just simply equip the outfit again and it should show up then. That might seem a little bit pointless, but it is just one of the many steps that we have to do. Next, we're going to make sure our spawn location is set to last location. Please do not forget to do that. Alright, so we're now pretty much ready to move on. So to do that, we're going to press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to missions and start up a titan of a job. Then just go ahead and confirm the settings and press play. You'll then either spawn inside or outside of the ammunition and you should be wearing a chemical mask with no plate carrier. If you spawn in with the scruffy balaclava and some sort of vest, then what you need to do is go and restart GTA as I've said and continue on from the timestamp indicated on screen. Anyway, if you did spawn in with the chemical mask and no plate carrier, you can now go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from there. Doing this will then take you back down into a free mode online session and we're going to go back inside the ammunition. This time though we're going to go into the top section and we're going to go into edit saved outfits. From here we're going to go and delete the outfit called temp in outfit slot 1 as we no longer need that. Please don't just leave it there because it will mess up what we're about to do so again just make sure you actually delete it. We're then going to go ahead and save the outfit that we're currently wearing into a different empty outfit slot which again is out of the way like the favourite outfit. We're now ready to move on and select the top that we want so we're going to press back and go into the shirts category. As you can see the pouches are staying on the front of the shirts even though we're switching through which you normally can't do and we're going to go ahead and purchase the red pattern short sleeve. Feel free to pick a different one if you want. Just to reiterate, you can only do that with the Cayo Perico pouches, not the Diamond Casino black pouches. I'm going to set the shirt to open just because I prefer it, but you can leave it closed if you want. The vest that we're about to get on the outfit is going to cover the torso, so don't worry about that. Before we go any further, we're just going to make sure that we own an earpiece from the gear section and ammunition, but we're not going to equip it right now. So if you have to purchase it now, just go ahead and unequip it. Anyway, we're now going to press the start button, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses, and we're going to start up the mission called Crooked Cop. When the settings screen loads up, we're going to go down to clothing and make sure it's set to player owned. This is very important. We then need to press confirm settings and invite one other person. Now you can use auto invite like I did to get a random person, or you can invite a friend if you happen to have one online. You can also join the militated discord server where you can find someone to help you there, the invite link is down below, just make sure that you read the rules and info channels first. So once someone eventually joins your lobby and you press play, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen a few seconds later. Now go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip 01 vest and right again to equip 01 gun. If you're one of the potatoes that skipped through the video, these are the outfits that we made on the female character, so you're going to have to go back and watch the tutorial. Equip the earpiece from the interaction menu by going into style and accessories and pressing left on gear. We're then going to bring up the phone and quit the job. You'll then be brought down into a free mode session and we'll still be wearing the outfit that we just merged in Crooked Cop. As you can see, we have the flight boots on with the jeans, we have the holstered gun, vest and pouches on the shirt, which you normally can't do. We're now going to go down to a clothing store and start browsing accessories to go into the gloves category. From here we're going to buy the black fingerless gloves or whichever gloves you prefer to wear, it really doesn't matter. Either way, we're then going to go and make sure that we save this into an empty outfit slot and call this one outfit 1. We still need slot 1 to be empty, so make sure you don't save it there. We're then going to go and delete 01 vest and 01 gun as we don't need those anymore. Like slot 1, just make sure you leave those empty for now. Before we finish outfit 1, we're going to go ahead and merge the other two outfits just to get them out of the way. For outfit 2, we're going to go into the Diamond Casino Heist category and go into Infiltration Upgraded Tech. Then just equip any of these outfits with the black pouches, it doesn't matter which one it is. If for some reason you still don't have these outfits unlocked after all of this time, you can instead go into the Kyo Perico Heist category, go back into Grassland Armor and use any of those pouches instead. However, if you are using the same outfit as me, we're going to go and remove the mask because it is making the screen green, which is quite annoying. Just like with outfit 1, we now need to go and pick the pants that we want on the outfit. Just remember, you won't be able to change the pants later on, so make sure you're happy with the selection. I decided to go for the faded classic blue regular fit. Again, you don't need to buy anything else, so what we're going to do now is go and start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did the first time. Just make sure the clothing is set to player owned. Once you're at the outfit selection screen, we're going to go down to own outfit. Just before someone asks, the outfit behind me is modded and you can't make it. 
Press right once to equip O2 top, right again to equip O2 vest, and then right one last time to equip O2 gun. Then just press ready and once the mission starts you're going to equip the earpiece like we did before and quit the job from the phone. We then spawn back down into a free mode session wearing the outfit and we're going to head over to the accessory section of a clothing store. From here we're going to go back into the gloves category and you can pick whichever ones you want, but I'm going to go for the black fingerless gloves like I did with the first outfit. The choice is entirely up to you though. So we're now going to go and save this into an empty outfit slot and we're going to call this one outfit 2. And then we're going to go and delete O2 top, O2 vest and O2 gun as we no longer need those. We'll do the headgear for the outfit towards the end of the video, but like I said, we're just getting the merging out of the way first, so we're now going to go onto outfit 3. To do that, we're going to go back over to the outfit section and equip the outfit from the Diamond Casino Heist Infiltration Upgraded Tech category once again, or you can use the Kaio Perico ones if you don't have those unlocked. Then just remove the mask and start up Crooked Cop like we've done twice before. At the outfit selection screen, we're going to go down to own outfit and press right once to equip O3 top, and then right again to equip O3 char vest. Press ready, equip the earpiece from the interaction menu and then quit the job from the phone. In a free mode session, we're going to go to the clothing store and start browsing pants. For this outfit I went for the faded dark blue regular fit jeans, but you can use whichever ones you want. Unlike outfit 1 and 2, you can change the pants on this outfit as many times as you want. Once you've made your choice, we're then going to back out of there and head over to accessories to equip the gloves that we want. I decided to go for the black tact gloves, but again, you can pick whichever ones you prefer. To get the police markings on the back, we're going to go and head over to the top section of the store and go down to the crew emblem category. Then just select back crew emblem and of course you will need to be in my crew to have the police emblem. You can find the link to the crew in the description below. Then just set it as your active crew and you should have it the next time you load into GTA Online. Please note that you can only put the crew emblem on the back of transferred plate carriers. You can't put the crew emblem on the back of a store-bought plate carrier since the Kyo Perico update because Rockstar somehow messed that up. With that cleared up, we're now going to go ahead and save this into an empty outfit slot and we're going to call this one Outfit 3. You can then go ahead and delete the remaining two transfer outfits or you can keep the vest one if you want to put the vest on more tops. Either way, we're now pretty much done with the clothing store so we're going to go and head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. The headgear is the same for all three outfits because I am lazy so we're now going to go into the mask section and go into the diamond casino heist category. I decided to go for the grey neck gaiter but you can use the black one or any other colour if you prefer. Once you've made your mind up, we're then going to back out of masks and head over to hats. From here we're going to go into the biker helmets category, go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the black spiked. With the helmet and neck gaiter equipped, we're going to go and save this into the outfit slot once again. Next we're going to go into the combat helmets category and just as a side note, you cannot use these ones without the night vision as they won't work. The reason is because they don't disappear when we get into a car which is what we need them to do. So instead we're going to go and use the old version which has the night vision. We need the lenses to be in the up position so if they're down, go ahead and set them to up. You can do this in the style section of your interaction menu and go down to helmet visor. For this next part, we're going to need a car which has a hard top roof, so no convertibles, and we're going to need a motorbike. I recommend calling your own motorbike as they're much harder to find on the street. So we're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit. Scroll along to the one that we just saved but do not equip it. Instead we're going to go up to where it says parachute and we're going to get into the car. As we approach the car, we're going to go back down to outfit and equip it as soon as your character sits down and the helmet disappears. The timing can be tricky so it might take a few attempts if you're new to this. Next we're going to go up to parachute and get out of the car. Okay so we're now going to press back and go into security serve and we're going to register as a CEO. Then we're going to reopen the interaction menu, go into security serve, management and style and we're going to press right once to equip the founder outfit. Now this next part has to be done quite quickly so please pay attention to what I'm doing. Press the button to get onto the bike and as you're getting on, you're going to press left once to set the outfit back to none. This will then combine the black dual lens and the neck gaiter. However, you need to immediately get off the bike before your character puts the lenses down. So as soon as you switch back to none, you're going to get off of the bike straight away. If done correctly, your night vision will still be in the up position. With that done, we're now going to go and head down to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the glasses section. From here we're going to go into the gun range glasses category and purchase the black gun glasses or whichever ones you prefer. Then just simply go ahead and save the outfit as you're pretty much done with it. As I said before, the headgear is the same for the other two outfits so you can just go and repeat that process for those two as well. Just before we finish up though, there is one problem you will face with this mask and I'm going to show you how to fix it when it does happen. You may notice that the mask won't reappear if you switch to another outfit and then switch back. To fix it, just simply equip the outfit as you're getting in or on a vehicle. You can also put parachutes onto the outfits if you want to. I think the parachute works best on outfit 2. But that is pretty much it, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated and don't forget to join a militated Discord server. Thanks once again and hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.